Hello Hans, well I'm in video mode today so I thought I'd do another one for this because there's another very useful file type which is in studio that many people are not aware of. So basically what I have in front of me here is an Excel sheet which I saved as CSV. This is the one thing you'd need to do, CSV, which means if you've got multiple tabs you'd probably have to do one tab at a time and then put them together again afterwards but it still might be a useful option for you. So this is what I did. I've got a column down the left full of my source text and then I've got a column down the right where I want my target text to go and as in your example some of it's already been translated so I'm going English to Welsh so I close this um, if the translation is very bad please don't shoot me for that I don't speak Welsh and this was Google Translate um, <laughs> but I was hoping you didn't speak Welsh either and you wouldn't notice so save this save it there's my Excel so make a note of where that is, come to studio and in the tools options file types so tools options file types I scroll down to comma delimited CSV click on the format tab and in here you've got um, the ability to say what kind of a delimiter you're using I'm using a comma this in this case my source column is column A so that's the first column my translation column is column 2 so that's the second one I only want two columns this time I'm not using comments. The text is enclosed in double quotes. Um, I've done that because if I've converted it to CSV, if I look at the text, um, anywhere where I've got a comma, it will stick a, or already in the sentence somewhere, it's going to stick a, um, a quote around it just to make sure they're properly separated by the two on one line. Anywhere where I've translated before, sorry, it's put, it's put the, um, the segments between quotes. This is just what the CSV did. Um, apologies if I'm rambling a little bit here. Um, so, I then I've got a couple of other options down here that I decided to use. One is make existing translations confirmed, and the second is to lock existing translations just to make it nice and clear. So I click OK there. If I now open document, pick my CSV, I open the file up. What you can see when the file opens is that it contains both columns. So in column A, I've got all of the source text. In column B, I've got all of the target text, and the segments that have already been translated are confirmed and locked, because that's what I asked it to do. So now that, as I'm working, I only need to translate the um, the ones that haven't been done yet. And when I save the target, this will, just to show you, save the target. I confirmed it, and again confirm it. Oops. Okay, just to show you what that looks like if I shift F12 to save the target. Put a little T in front of that so I don't get confused. I open that up and I come back over here. So there's my target translation and if I open up my target file, um, save the target and again A and then my other ones. So it puts the translations into the second um, column which is exactly what you wanted. So I think that does what you need. Another alternative just to note is that you also have the same options as a text file. So you can use the tab delimited text instead if you want and you have similar options in there as well. So quite a few things you can do there. Nice handy um, file type to know about.